There's nothing I love more than a well-spiced mutton tikka masala. This is one of the most popular Indian dishes anybody can make. This preparation is very similar to chicken tikka masala. So, feel like mutton tikka masala tonight? Let's get cooking. Take 750 grams of boneless mutton. Add half a teaspoon of salt, black pepper, turmeric. One teaspoon of coriander, garam masala, brown sugar. A cup of plain yogurt. One tablespoon of crushed ginger, garlic. Juice of half a lemon. One tablespoon of a neutral oil. Mix and into the fridge to marinate at least for two hours. Add one tablespoon of ghee into a hot pan and pan fry the marinated mutton. Do this in badges without overcrowding the pan. And also control the heat, we don't want the mutton to burn. It's important to get boneless pieces of mutton as much as you can to prepare this dish. Set the meat aside and add one tablespoon of ghee onto the same pan with one teaspoon of cumin seeds, three bay leaves, one sliced onion and a cut red capsicum. For spices, we put one teaspoon of chili, coriander, garam masala and cumin. Add one tablespoon of crushed ginger, garlic, one 400 grams can of crushed tomato and equal parts of water. Add back the pan-fried mutton with its lovely juices and remaining marinade. Mix them well and then add salt and brown sugar to taste, about half a teaspoon each. Add half a cup of thickened cream, handful of chopped coriander and some kasuri methi for that earthy flavour and we are almost done. Since we are not using a pressure cooker to soften the mutton, we have to simmer this curry at a very low heat for about 30 minutes. If you want to make a chicken tikka masala of the same method, check out my other video. Well, 30 minutes later, you are done. Why would you want to take out when you can make such great dishes with little effort? Let's plate it and have a taste. Check out this gorgeous mutton tikka masala. Best served with naan or paratha. It's a flavor bomb in each bite. There is a story for the origin of chicken tikka masala, but I'm not sure there's a story behind mutton tikka masala. Give it a try and tell me what you think.